Hello, welcome, welcome, gorgeous beings of light. This is Omara. Welcome to the Guy One Temple. Oh goodness, so much has happened in the last ten days since I met with you on the twenty second of May. Anyway, we'll just get the housekeeping out of the way first. I just want to remind you all that you must be at least eighteen years of age, and you must have read and fully understood and agreed with the terms and conditions and our disclaimer on our website www.elmaraseraphin.com otherwise please stop listening to this video and go do something else so today what do I want to talk to you about today oh my god um so there's lots of talk and stuff around about energies and entities and attachments and to be honest with you, in the past, I just thought it was a load of fooey. <laughs> but also, too, you know, like 20, 30, 40 years ago, when, when I started doing my work, it was always about people who didn't have a clean aura, people who weren't, um, you know, who were getting drunk and doing drugs. They were the sort of people, and, I mean, that can happen. They, you know, low-level energies do come in, and that's why it's really important if you're on a spiritual journey to stop doing those things um eventually you know when you get sick of it or whatever um but it seems that um some of these spooks and entities have got really clever and um now a lot of them are actually um hanging out with more higher frequency people so they're more intelligent now and they're they, they, well, they always were intelligent, but they're just kind of hiding in places that really smart people like myself can't find them and just messing with their life a little bit. So they'll either mess with the areas where you, you know, if you've got, you know, if you've got problems with money or if you've got problems with your relationships or, you know, if you've got problems with feeling lonely, they're just going to enhance those so they distract you from doing your work. And that said, I still thought that I had a high enough vibration that I would never have a spook attached to me. And an example of that is that my gorgeous friend Rosie came over last, um, well, this Monday, the Monday before that. She came with really, really bad back pain. And I just offered to give her one of my new Syrian love activations. And I just worked with her for about 15 minutes, that's all. Um, it showed me that it, it was complete. And she said that the pain had eased, but it wasn't gone. But she texted me four hours later and went, oh, my God, Elle, that pain is completely gone. Now, she had just been diagnosed by the doctors with acute arthritis, and she'd had the pain for years. She texted me the next afternoon and said the pain's still gone. The following day, she drove to Sydney. She rode back from Sydney. Then she drove to Canberra, and she drove back. And they were still it was still gone. And so that's really what's happening is this powerful awakening of our spiritual gifts that's happening on earth right now. But you may also have some itty bitty horrible lower level energies trying to stop you from doing that. And so because this was happening in my life, it, you know, there's just no way that I would have thought that I had an entity attached to me. But some things happen and I just don't want to go into all of it. I was led through a process. It'll take me 20 minutes to tell you how it happened. Um, but I was led through a process that showed me very clearly, very clearly that, um, that I had an attachment. And then, so I just did this powerful, I'm a sovereign being of the light of pure God source and of the entire universe. And I command that all negative energies, all our souls, all illnesses, everything, you know, from across all eternity, from you know infinite levels wide infinite levels depth all the way back to the beginning of time i command you leave immediately and return to the light or i'll instantaneously transmute you back to the light is what i said on the count of three one two three i did that several times and honestly i just felt oh my god i just felt so amazing after it i was just like oh my god i had a spook attached to me and i just didn't even realize it but what happened, and this is really important, the very next day, I something happened in my body, and I knew then, because it was, you know, it was something to do with my skin, and it was irritating and itchy, and i never had this problem before, and all of a sudden, I just realized they had come back with a vengeance, and then I listened to somebody who said, if you're not careful, and you don't put protection up after you've let, made them leave, they will come back even angrier, and that was really what was happening, and Obviously, my attention was distracted by this really itchy, itchy rash. So anyway, 
I've since got rid of them again and I put protection up. So I just want to say to you that I do believe that spooks are real. I do believe they're probably interfering with a lot of really powerful spiritual people and stopping you getting your work out into the world. And if you're consistently doing something like meditating and, you know, you're still not getting any clients or people still aren't finding you or you're having problems with your health and you're, doing, you're eating right and you're meditating and you're doing all the right things, then I would suggest that you look in that area and look to see if you haven't got something hiding in one of the other dementias or in the back burner somewhere and, and get some help to get them cleared. Um, I may even do the next thing on this but I just so what I wanted to do today is just tell you about that I'm sorry about that noise I've waited all day for those blooming noises and chainsaws to stop but they've just started again I was telling them it's beer o'clock go and have a beer but they obviously still aren't ready to have a beer so and I've waited all day so I can't wait any longer I'm going to lose the sun and this is how I wanted to record it today so anyway so what I wanted to say to you is I'm so today um um, and, and, and if you if you want, I can do a spook removal from you. I've used to do them years ago. I will just now be very, you know, particular about making sure we put you in a big balls of crystalline protection after we've finished it so that they can't come back and get you. We'll probably also do it on a recording so you can listen to it for a number of days. So what I really want to do today is do a God Blast, and that will help shift some of them anyway. It's a silent procedure that I, I don't know, came to me about five years ago. We used to do these things called God Blast. And I remember clearly doing it with someone. Um, and I used to do them where and it would just the power of God would just come up in me and I'd be shouting. I command the power of God to wake up inside of you now like really shouting but now I can do them silently which is just interesting how it's changed but back then I remember I said to um you know my friend do you want me to can I try one of these out on you he goes oh yeah he was exhausted he was doing all this cleaning and stuff and so I do this thing and he doesn't think much of it he eats his lunch and um and then he went back out and he picked up two rolls of wire that was trying to get in the trailer and he come back flying back in he went oh my god he'll before lunch I couldn't pick those rolls up and now I just pick them up like they were just you know a leaf and threw them in the back of the trailer and he said thank you so much for that so sometimes you're not going to know what's going to happen unless you try something else but I'm going to do a god blast for you all and you can it probably should go it'll probably go for about five minutes I'll, I expect and then I'll just do a blast of divine energy that you can breathe in so I would just be breathing how how should you receive this just will get grounded first of all anyway you should always ground always always ground before you do any meditation otherwise you'll never manifest anything or clear anything on earth because you're a physical being in a physical um, body I mean you're a spiritual being in a physical body here on physical earth plane to learn physical lessons and you know, yes, you can go off and trip off onto other planets and have a lovely time, but you're never going to, um, not much is going to change in your life if you don't ground it here on Earth. So we'll be grounding shortly. And then I'll do the God Blast, which I will probably do silently. And you can breathe this God Blast into any area that you feel that you need to shift. So if you had a skin condition, you can breathe it into that. And if you have a property that won't sell, you can breathe it into that and ask for the property to sell. If you want, if you and want to make more money, you can ask for that. If you want a new job, you can breathe it into that. And you just, you know, the God blast is to clear whatever blockages are stopping you from having what you want in your life right now. So, and then we'll probably do a Syrian blast of energy if I've got time. Um, all right, so we better get cracking. Just take a long, slow, deep breath in. Fill your belly with air. And as you breathe out, just imagine there's big roots growing from your feet and going deep, deep down into the centre of Mother Earth and grounding around the core of Mother Earth. And we're going to do that two more times. Breathe in. Big belly breath. Extend your belly with air. And when you're ready, hold it for as long as it's comfortable. Breathe out. Through the mouth, releasing. Seeing the energy go through these roots, solidifying them, going through all the nooks and crannies and rocks and into the centre of earth and tie it around the centre of earth. And one more time, big breath in. And breathe out. And so I'd like you to just get comfortable. If you're going to lay down, please lay on your side so the energy can flow up your spine. But it's pretty cool to sit or stand if you want to to do this. And I'm going to call forth pure God source. 
Jesus Christ, Mother Mary, Mary Magdalene, and the Seraphim and Cherubim Angels, the Arcturians, the Syrians, and the Lyrans, and all of my high spiritual healing teachers, guides, and angels. And you can go ahead and call forth all of your high spiritual healing teachers, guides, and angels. And we're going to commence a God blast now for anyone who's listening to this recording now and anyone who will listen to it any time in the future. And this God blast is to wake up the power of God within you and clear anything that's out of alignment with that pure God source power that exists in every one of your hundred trillion cells and your hundred trillion telomeres. So you might hear me muttering through it, but mostly it should be silent. Okay, so let's start this God blast now. I'll just do the opening line aloud so you know. I command the power of God to wake up inside of you now. I command the power of God to wake up inside of you now. I command the power of God to wake up inside of you now. I'm just going into silence now. to break a glass. <laughs>
anything and everything that's out of alignment with your highest divine calling here on earth and out of alignment with your divine I am presence, please delete, dissolve, destroy and transmute to dust and wake up the power of God within you now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, that was pretty special. I don't know if there's any need to do a transmission because there's one happening all by itself as each and every one of you come into your own pure divine I am presence and your highest calling here on earth. There is a divine essence flowing through all of us now. So thank you for being here with me again. I want to remind you that if you want to, we'll be doing these on the 1st, 8th, 15th and 22nd of every month and sometimes some more in between if I feel like it. Um, if you um, like what you hear, then please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button so you receive next to it so you receive a notification every time I do a new video. And you can read my 50 plus pages of testimonials in the information below this video. And if you would like to receive, uh, this came while I was doing this, if you'd like to receive an energy clearing and uh, removal of anything that's not for your, in alignment with your divine I am presence and highest calling, we'll do those for $125 Australian. I think that works out to be about $80, $90 US. We can do them anywhere in the world and I will probably do them either remotely and record it and send it to you. It's probably the best way so that you have the recording because it is something you would probably need to listen to for a, for a number of days, at least 10, probably about 22, depending on how long your life has been out of alignment with your divine I am presence. So, my darling beings of light, love, 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 my deepest love and richest blessings to you all and I look forward to being with you all again soon. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. We'll see you on the 8th. Namaste. And you can find out more about me at www.elmaraserafin.com. Bye now.